Everyone, welcome back. This is just going to be a quick addition. Um, spawn points are slightly different. So let's go over them. As so you can see here, we still have our spawn area. I'm just going to go ahead and create a spawn point and talk about it briefly. A spawn point, and you'll see it just gets created with no visual. You can also move it around because it gets a gizmo like the other one. Let's open this in the inspector. And you'll see here it's using the same thing again, common spawn area, but there's no spawn point generator. It also defaults the capacity to one. So something here that um, is is valuable to know is that if you want if you want to use these, you need to set up enough for your player count. If you go to the session menu here and you go to settings, you'll see maximum users 32. You need a capacity here that matches that 32 or you're going to have a problem whereby um, they overlap. If the, if the capacity has been exceeded, then it will start placing people either at 0, zero or previously used spawn points. So just keep that in mind. You can set that down to negative one if you want to make it unmasked, um, unbounded again. Um, but the main difference is that with the spawn point rather than the spawn area, you'll see that they, they spawn exactly where this is, exactly. Like not around it, but exactly where it is. As an example of how cool they are, um, you can do things like axis align them or circle align them. So here we have a spawn point and I'm going to go up one object and we're going to do a circle aligner. So transform driver circle aligner. Take a look at my circle aligner video for more information on this. We'll just set this up quickly. Do a radius of, uh, let's say five. What about children? And then let's start duplicating some. So here you'll see that we have the center spawn point there, uh, the circle aligner, and then everyone is going to spawn in a circle around that central point. I use this in Vigil and Gemini to control where people spawn so that they spawn in a circle. We can go ahead and open up, um, let's open up Gemini, uh, which should be here, get world orb. Start session, nobody. Oh, oh, I spawned outside. That might be a bug, I'll have to take a look. Um, but you'll see here that there are spawn points um, around the world, and each of these cages has a spawn point in them. And again, that's done with the uh, circle aligner. So if I pop this open, Inspect one of these cages, and go to the root, and then you'll see the spawn point here. And so each one of these has a spawn point, and that's what's controlling how you each spawn in them. I also have logics here, which controls um, the if this, I parent them um, from a previous video. If you select parent, it will um, parent them under the spawn point. And then um, I have logics here, which counts the children within the spawn point and then uh, disables the spawn point if there's one person parented underneath it. And what that means is that it can only be used once before it gets um, fill, full. So up here you'll just see children count. Let's bring this closer. So this is the children count of the spawn point. If that equal equals zero, then we turn on the spawn point, otherwise we turn it off. That's spawn area, uh, sorry, spawn point and spawn area. I didn't realize they use the same component, so there you go. Uh, we'll move on to something next for the next time. Um, it's still going to continue on the world building um, track. Maybe we'll cover um, optimizations next or like basic world management within the inspector. We'll see. See you next time.